Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, how are you? I hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Welcome to NIEVS Homeschool. And this is Mukhtar Hussain, Assistant Teacher, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Today, I am going to take an Islamic Studies class for the students of Class 6. Dear students, and our today's topic is Chapter 1, Lesson 2 and 3, Discussion. Okay, dear students, let's see the board. Class 6, Subject Islam, Topic Chapter 1, Lesson 2 and 3, Term Half Yearly 22, Lecture Number 2, SW Number also will be 2, and SW Topic KBQ, any 5. KBQ means Knowledge Based Question. So, dear students, let's start our today's topic. Topic Chapter 1, Lesson 2 and 3 Discussion. Dear students, I hope all of you know that in Lesson 2 and 3, there are many sentences. At your home, you will learn, you will read every sentence. But in this video, in this class, I will discuss some of the most important sentences of those pages. So, let's start. The first one is Kalima Taiba. Here is the pronunciation in English. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Meaning, there is none to be worshipped but Allah. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi sallam is the messenger of Allah. Significance, the meaning of Kalima Taiba is the holy sentence. It is the main basis of Tawheed, Iman and Islam. So dear students, uh, Kalima Taiba is the main basis of Tawheed, Iman and Islam. Nobody can make his or her entry into Islam without accepting this Kalima. This Kalima has two parts. Dear students, if anyone accept, uh, does not accept Kalima Taiba, he cannot enter into Islam. Kalima Taiba has uh, two parts. First one is La ilaha illallah. It means there is no person to be worshipped but Allah. That means only Allah is worthy of worship in this world. Nobody else can be worshipped except Allah. And the second part, Muhammad Rasulullah. It means Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the messenger of Allah. Dear students, I hope all of you know that Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the greatest prophet and he is the greatest Rasul in this world. So it is essential to have faith in the second part like the first part. Other, <clears throat> otherwise, we cannot be a true mu'min. Kalima Taiba has two parts. So dear students, if we uh, admit one part, so we cannot be a true mu'min or true Muslim. Now, Kalima Shahadat. In English pronunciation, Ashadu Allah ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluhu. Now meaning, I testify that there is indeed no deity but Allah. Deity means Lord. Deity means ilah. He is one and he has no partner. I also testify that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is indeed Allah's servant. Dear students, uh, hopefully you know that Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the is Allah's uh, greatest servant, and he is called humble servant, and he is the greatest and last prophet and Rasul. Now its significance: Kalima Shahadat is the word of testimony. We bear testimony to the oneness of Allah and the Risalat of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So dear stu students, 
I hope all of you, uh, you have understood today's topic. Now, SW topic, there is an important information for you. In the previous class, I told you to make knowledgeable question. Knowledgeable question, or you can say it, knowledge-based question, KBQ, or knowledge-based question. So, its answer should be, KBQ, I repeat, KBQ, knowledge-based question, or knowledgeable question. Its answer should be in one sentence. Sometimes, it may vary, but uh, it may be in two sentences, two sentences, but always you try to make in one sentence because it, its mark is one. Uh, I hope all of you know that in the creative question, there are four questions, number A, B, C, and C. And number A is allotted for one marks. So, KBQ uh, or knowledgeable question, you will try to write uh, the answer in one sentence. One sentence means it may be two line, but one sentence is standard. For example, what is the meaning of Kalima Shahadat? The answer will be the meaning of Kalima Shahadat is the word of testimony. So, here there are two lines, but one sentence. So, all of you will try to write in one sentence, but sometimes the question pattern may be changed like, uh, what do you mean by Kalima Shahadat? Then you can uh, explain, but uh, it should be in one sentence or two sentences. Okay, dear students, I hope uh, you have understood today's topic properly. Keep practicing at your home. Uh, abide by your parents. Stay safe and well. See you again, inshallah. Till then, assalamu alaikum.